It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 295. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo. I'm joined by my co-host, Noel W. Herzog. In a matching hoodie with you. Oh, are we matching? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I wasn't sure. We're we very are. Hollister today. We're representing. Yeah, that's right. We are. I love that. Uh, we're here to talk about Teen Mom Season 2, Episode 12, which is the finale of Season 2 of Teen Mom 2. Yeah, this was good. This was pretty good. This, I was like, why is this episode so long? That's what I was telling you. Like, this episode was way longer. And then the first episode of the third season is like nothing. I know. It was uh, um, so much stuff going on, and uh-huh. I could not take it. It was like a f- what, how five hours it was? Uh, something maybe five and a half. Yeah, it was a lot of yeah. hours, but mm-hmm. it was great. It was really great. If you guys want to hear more about us, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where you will find all of our bonus podcasts, including our favorite one, BS, where we just yeah, we do this. We do a lot of bullshitting. We <laughs> do a lot of that. Um, And as always. Our free podcast, Catfish Trash Talk, Teen Mom Trash Talk, and 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, available everywhere you listen to podcasts. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm so much paler than you. We're just different colors. Yeah, Yeah. I'm just looking at this and I'm like, "Hmm, big Your lighting is different. I did not put my ring light on. I forgot it did. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Makes you look tanner. (laughs) Thanks so much. (laughs) Um, We're going to jump in the pool with Janelle. Okay. And she really is the meat of this episode she is the meat of most of these episodes she really is she is on her way to california rehab Mm -hmm. and uh do you think that dustin got her a scholarship to this rehab do you think dr drew sent her um i thought that she would have a scholarship no that's wrong no but do you think that dr drew was the one because this is malibu horizons is that where he works i don't know i think he worked at passages but still i feel like malibu it's all this is very nice yeah, it's super nice. She misses Jace. She doesn't. No, you don't. You miss Kiefer. You miss Kiefer. You don't miss Jace. I know so you don't. every time you say Jace, I think we should replace it with Kiefer. Okay. That's really all it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's never been to a psychiatrist. She's never been to anything. Nothing. Good job, Babs. Right. Uh, well, Babs doesn't know. She doesn't know. No. Um, And she is checked for contraband and she comes, arrives with a blunt wrapper. Good thing you packed that. I like that she's like, there might be a blunt wrapper in there. And the woman's like, a what? (laughs) I know. So she gets positive for THC. Right. And she said that her marijuana addiction is not a problem for her. It's a problem for the courts. Right. And the problem is that she has to stop. That's what the problem is. That is the I'm like, okay. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So this is her first day in rehab and she her brother is bipolar schizophrenic. Right. But uh, they're not sure what she is. She says she's very depressed. And the doctor said that she might possibly be bipolar as well. So they're like, we're going to put you on anxiety medication immediately. Also, they give her like a Cosmo quiz to take, like to see. <laughs> they're like, Maybe what's you your have favorite? Bipolar. <laughs> what's your favorite flavor? Popcorn. Right. <laughs> if you <Very> pick. <laughs> If you pick Lexapro, then you might be. Right. Then you might be bipolar. Oh, that was very funny. (laughs) I don't think that was even correct. But they do start her on anxiety medication. So now Mm -hmm. instead of being addicted to marijuana, she is instantly addicted to Xanax. Yeah. And the thing is, not to jump ahead, you could tell she's on Xanax. Like as more and more it goes on. Like a lot of Xanax. I don't mean like a regular amount. Like the whole amount. Yeah. So she has no phone, no internet. She's two uh, for two weeks and she is bored and depressed and she's having cravings. So she says, quote, I'm so bored. I can't smoke. I can't do nothing. This girl, which is a pattern with all of these girls, they cannot be alone. They just no. can't. Mm-mm. It's a big problem. Yeah. What were you what were you supposed to do in rehab? You're so bored. Right. What are you supposed to do? I don't know. Drugs. You're not supposed to do drugs in rehab. I'll tell you that much. Right. She's like, I can't smoke. I can't do nothing. Is that what those your two options? Do. Right. You want to maybe watch a movie? She said that she smoked every single day for six years. So that's good. It's a good thing that Jace is eight years old. Right. <laughs> Whoopsie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Jace is like, I'm also going to be going to rehab. <laughs> Poor Jace. And by Jace, we mean Kiefer. Yeah, well, that's true, too. (laughs) 
So two weeks go by and she gets her phone and computer back and Kiefer left messages. So she calls him from her bedazzled sidekick. Okay, but as soon as she calls, it's like, what a rain cloud he is. Okay, but also, is this rehab not monitoring anything? Like, you just have your cell phone willy-nilly. Yeah, I don't think they're monitoring anything. Okay, good. So um, she she calls him back <laughs> and <Willy-nilly. laughs> he's it like... makes me laugh every time you say willy-nilly, sorry. <laughs> she calls him and he's like, so you don't want to get back together? And she's like, no. What do you think the real reason is? Um, I think she's like... I think it's because she can't see him. Truly. I think that that's the only reason. Right. And I don't think it's because she's trying to better herself. Right. Because if she was allowed to see him and not smoke, she wouldn't be in rehab. Right. Yeah. Okay. So um, her therapist and her call Babs. She is so triggered by Babs. By everything, though. Why? But like, that's what I mean. And it's like, I hate to think of it like this, but it's like, grow up. You are such a baby. Deal with somebody saying something to you. So they said that they need to stabilize her mood. So I think she might be also a brat. I think she might be having to be on a mood stabilizer. Yeah. Well, of course. So Babs wants Jace to be closer with Janelle. And she's like, see, see, it's always about her. And they're like, and it's like, you're going back to the past. She's using like this weird therapy talk against yes. her. Yes. And I'm like, this yes. is like very culty. Yes. So the therapist tells Babs that she needs to be more sensitive. Okay. Babs obviously isn't the best. She doesn't have the tools to handle Janelle. Right. But I also think Janelle she didn't say is anything wrong. very enabled. I don't think that she did anything. I don't think Babs did anything wrong in this. Right. Yes. So the doctor said that, um, your mom shows love through fighting with you, right? But she's very attached. She's like, oh, your mother's very attached to you. Where mm. did you get that from that conversation that Babs is attached to Janelle? I don't know. But yeah, her, her meds are working all the way and she's getting discharged within 30 days. Okay. This is a great Okay, rehab. She's fine. She's yeah. fine suddenly. Uh-huh. So the doctor said that the meds won't work if she's going to be abusing alcohol and pot. Sure. So she's like, yeah, no, no, I know. And she's like, I'm definitely not going to be doing any of that. I'm cured. She is suddenly 100% cured. All the way cured. Yeah. So um, they pick her up at the airport. airport. And Jay's got a very cool haircut. He looks so cute. He's cute. He was such a cute little kid. Babs is like, this is the first time you were away from me. Right. Well, except when you were like living with Tori. And then except for when you were living in that abandoned house that you got arrested in with the crack oh, pipe. Oh, yeah, right. That's true. Except for every time I kicked you out. Except for all the times that I didn't see. Okay. Or, yeah. I mean, but this is your first time. This is your first time away from me. Well, she brought home gifts from rehab. She brought home Babs a nice hoodie. She did. A rehab hoodie. I thought yeah. it was going to say Malibu Horizons. and it I would not. like that. I would like that. I would wear that. I'm going to get you one. Okay. Next time you go to California, go to Malibu. Next time I go to me. rehab, I will get you gifts. Thank you so much. Do you remember when we, yeah, we drove went around passages. over there? Uh huh. We went to passages. We did. That was the best. That was the best. But you know what's the worst? Not knowing what to make for dinner. That's why I mean, no, I'll use HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. You can spend less time in the kitchen with quick and easy meals like HelloFresh's fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos. Yum. Or falafel power bowls ready in 15 minutes or less. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. With so much variety, there are options for everyone in every lifestyle. No worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. Noelle and I are pretty good chefs, but I will tell you every time that we use HelloFresh, we learn something new. We love using HelloFresh because we don't have to think about what's for dinner and they have great ideas. Go to hellofresh.com slash teen mom 50 and use code teen mom 50 for 50% off. Plus your first box ships free. So that's hellofresh.com slash teen mom 50 and use code teen mom 50 for 50% off. Plus your first box ships free. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, and Jay's got a cute little jacket. He's so cute. 
He's very cute. So uh, Kale meets with Megan. Right. She to tell her. cannot stop thinking about hooking up with Joe, by the way. Could you she, imagine liking Joe that no, much? No, but she she meets up with Megan to tell her she banged Joe. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she's going to tell Jordan immediately. Why with the honesty all of a sudden? Right. It's like now you you need to tell Jordan right away. Okay. So she wants Jordan to get over it and then also understand how hard this is for her and her position. She's very mean to him. And she's like, what? I can't ignore my feelings. And something very good came out of this. And he's so, like, what? What good came out of this? And she never finished her sentence. Yeah. Who knows? Um. So she, she has to tell him immediately. So right. Joe sits with Junior. And he says, quote, we ended up having sex in the shower. You and I spoke about this off camera. <laughs> what was it? Like a day or two ago. Yeah. You're like, no, like, that's how- a choice. <laughs> OK, but that is a choice. So. I assume that they were like, oh, let's put Isaac to bed. And then they laid down after they put Isaac to bed. Mm -hmm. And then they like made out and one thing led to another. Right. Or like she's laying, she's, she's the small spoon. He's the big spoon. Right. Yeah. And then he gets a little fork. Yes. Yes. And she gets forked. Yeah. Right. (laughs) No, that's not what happened. They they made a decision to get up. Yeah. Go in the shower. Yeah. So the first time you're hooking up with someone who now you have feelings for in a year mm-hmm. is in f- probably fluorescent lighting. Yeah, that's Naked wild. from head to toe in fluorescent lighting. I hope they shut the lights off. <laughs> I mean, I could never do this. I just couldn't. This is crazy. Yeah. So now uh, Jordan comes over for the reenactment. Right. Poor Jordan. And she's like, listen, this is not easy for me either. She, she could have shown some kind of empathy. To well, she poor said guy. to him. Things went further than they should have. And he's right. like, you cheated on me. She's like, I didn't say that I cheated on you. Where'd you get she that plays from? games? See this episode and the next episode and the next episode. Show me. Kale has always been the same. Yes. So yep. she said that she didn't say she cheated. She just said it went too far. Kale, come on. And she said that there were good results. Right. What are what are they? What are okay, the good so results? I think what she's implying is that she sees that now she does not have feelings for Joe. She tested the waters and the waters were too cold for her. I think well or here's too the hot thing. in the shower. That that's wrong because she does still have feelings for mm-hmm. him. But I also think I don't know, to me she was implying like well, look what happened. Look, I'm even being honest about it. That's what's good. I oh. realize I did something wrong. Look at me. Yeah. Okay. Do you, you think that she has feelings for Joe now or she found out that Joe was seeing someone and was like, oh, uh, absolutely not. Yes. I mean, I've been ping ponging about this back and forth. I think that I don't know. Maybe she just likes what's in front of her. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. So or she likes who gives her attention. He takes his stuff and she does not care. And he says, quote, hope you can live with yourself. And she's like, I will sleep fine. Yeah, she's like, good night. Yeah. She said, that's the thing. She didn't care like at all. But then she claims. So I remember her talking about this after the fact, saying that they made her reenact the scene. And that's why they had been broken up for like months when they did this. Well, that's why she was so cold. Right. Right. Well, that makes (laughs) a lot more sense because she was like so mean. I'm like, how can you sleep at night being this mean? (laughs) Well, uh, Kara comes over after she curled her bangs. All of these friends who don't exist anymore. She just f- opposite flips <laughs> her bangs up. I thought it used to be a look. Yeah. Well, she tells Kara that she confessed and she's like, uh, I need to help Jordan understand why it happened. <clears throat> I know it, why it happened. Yeah. You went to go take a shower with Joe. Gross. Yeah. So she, she wants to get back <laughs> together with Joe. So she invited him over. And you just know that this isn't going to be good. You just know it. I'm Joe like that, upset when Joe walks in. I know. <laughs> Joe said that he moved on and is trying to live his life. And she said, now I don't have anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, she that's said it out the loud. problem. She said it out loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She said it out loud. She does not want to be alone. And you know what? If she would have gotten back together with Joe, she wouldn't have been happy either. No way. That's just not what she wanted. <clears throat> right. No way. But it's like, she's like, well, now I know how you felt when you want to be with me. And it's like, yeah, you're a jerk. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, moving on. She cries. Okay. Why, why, why? I don't believe it. I don't believe your tears. Right. What does Roddy on Jersey Shore say? Oh, yeah. What does his Valentine say? Uh, it, 
cry all you want. Your tears don't mean dick to me. Cry all you want. Your tears don't mean shit to me. <laughs> That's how I feel about Kale. <laughs> okay, but I believe her tears. I don't think she's crying over Joe. I think she's crying because she lost. Lonely. Or yeah, yeah. she's lonely now. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, well, she's crying because she's like, I dumped Jordan for you. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, no, thank you. But you already see the writing on the wall. You know she's going to be like, hello, Jordan. <laughs> yes. I... I missed you. Yeah. And with all that crying, she's going to need some kind of waterproof eyeliner. And I've been using the Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner from Thrive Cosmetics. Noelle and I absolutely love Thrive Cosmetics. And the Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner is our new favorite. It's waterproof and smudge proof for all day wear. And that's what Kale really needs. It's intense. It has high impact pigmentation in one smooth swipe because eyeliner is already hard to put on. You don't need the product making it harder. This makes it so easy. It has a built-in sharpener for creating an ultra fine line and an angled smudge tip for smooth effortless blending they have new bold and classic neutral shades that complement every eye color and skin tone and they have more than five thousand five star reviews for a reason i've been using the brown one i love dark brown eyeliner i don't know what it is but it just like really makes my green eyes pop Thrive Cosmetics is certified 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Beauty products made with clean, skin-loving ingredients. There's no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, all without compromising performance. And I love the cause. Cause isn't a name for a reason. As part of their mission, every purchase supports organizations that help communities thrive. Right now, you can get an exclusive 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash teen mom. That's thrivecosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash teen mom for 15% off your first order. And as always, it will be right there in the show notes. So Chelsea hasn't seen Adam in a month and she's going to study for her GED. She's going to study for her GED. She's going to study for her GED. Is she going to study for her GED? She's taking the writing test and her mom is the problem. Okay, Tracy, I'm so glad you said that. I'm watching these episodes and I'm like, Mary is the issue here. She is the issue. She puts things in Chelsea's head. I don't like it is like that bad friend that you have yes she's like a her mom is like her bad friend so mary's like oh my god i want to go to the car show and find a man i want to go find some dick at the car show right i need to she's like chelsea down she's like chelsea do you want to go find some dick at the car show your ex-boyfriend slash baby daddy's gonna be there do you want to go get upset while i find some dick Right. But maybe he'll dick you down, too, if you want. Yeah. She's like, if you have any shot of ever getting back together with Adam, you have to go to the car show and then I'm going to get piped out. I'm going to get piped in my tailpipe. I like that. Show. They're going to lay the pipe down. Yeah. <laughs> so um, obviously, Adam's going to be there. This right. town is one foot big. Right. Also, you the know? car show is your hot night out. I bet there's probably a lot of hot guys there. The though. meat market. So, yeah. She sees him and she gets upset. And then Mary sees that she's upset. She goes, it looks like you're going to cry. Okay. But also, isn't it crazy to you that like Adam can see his baby and not and even not her- go over there? I, he hasn't seen Aubrey in a month. He can't even go kiss her. I, I want to say I'm shocked. But like you're not. Mm-mm. But it's I just- liked how he, he, he didn't just ignore Chelsea. He ignored his child well that's what got me it's like don't talk to chelsea but like go see your daughter Mm -mm. that you haven't seen him that's crazy to me he's like whatever i gotta go talk about my tailpipes yeah really also chelsea this hair this hair flips me out i can't take it i think kara taught her how to curl her bangs i think so i don't think this is what i don't think her ged is what's keeping her from beauty school i think they have actively asked her not to come to beauty school with this hair until you do something with this hair until yeah. you do something with this blonde mullet. Right. They're <laughs> like, no graduation day for you. What is this exactly that you're singing? Is this your own song? Beauty school dropout. Oh, okay. okay wow. We no go. Well. Okay. Wow. You really don't know the, the Grease soundtrack. Okay, cool. Tracy, I do you know me at all? You think that I'm a, someone that would know a Greek, a Grease soundtrack very well? Have you ever seen Grease? Yeah, of course I have. But I'm saying, like, I hate musicals more than anything in Grease the world. Is a musical. And you, no shit. That's the point. 
I don't like musicals. You love okay. musicals. Oh. And you think I would know music from a musical? I've never seen White Christmas either. But you've seen Grease. I've seen Grease before, of course. Okay. All right, just checking. But I don't sing along and dance to it. All you right, probably well. do. You probably stand in the mirror and sing, I got chills that multiply. Yes. In another life, I was John Travolta. <laughs> How did you know? That's the character I most identify with in any musical. Well, who else would you be? You know, I also sing Grease Lightning. <laughs> Stop. I'm going to cry tears. I'm very <laughs> tired. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. We're back on track. Oh join BS, God. guys. Please join <laughs> BS. Please join me at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. She is in love with Adam. She's in love with him as a person. No, okay, you're not. Why? No, you're not. You're obsessed yeah. with him. You feel bad about yourself and you yeah. want to win. That's it. Um, I don't know if with Adam if it's just about winning, though. It's about winning. It's about her wanting to have a boyfriend. It's about her feeling validated. It's about all of those things. Yeah. You love Adam as a person. You just love who he is. Also, though, don't you ever think I'm I am not taking Adam's part. He did not kiss Aubrey. Don't you ever think that we do see the worst of the worst of all of these people? Like, I'm sure. Yes. But he's also someone some good time together. Yeah, He probably whispers in her ear that she's so pretty. And yeah. He uh huh. But he just whispers in her ear. He doesn't do right. anything nice. He doesn't show it. Yes. Right. He doesn't actually like do it, which I agree with. Yes. OK, so um, she gets her GED results. She passed the writing test. OK, four more to go, honey. That's rough. I, you know, what's crazy is there's writing, but then there's also a reading segment. That's the yeah. Really, so there's creative writing, I think, and then there's a reading comprehension. That's an easy uh, one. That's like you read the story. It's so the easy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Adam's parents asked to take Aubrey for the weekend. Grandma Donna. So Adam calls and is like, "I'm going to come and get Aubrey, not Grandma Donna." And she's like, right. "What? I don't want that to happen." Like she cares. Chelsea is so excited. She is leaving a snail trail okay. around this house. But Mary's making this worse. Yeah, you think Mary She's adds like, to her anxiety. Adam's going to come here and try to pipe you out in your tailpipe. Uh-huh. And then she's like, it really sounds like Adam wants to get back together with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, you if you play your her? cards right, maybe your abusive ex-boyfriend will come mm -hmm. back. If you play your cards right, you could sleep at Grandma Donna's house tonight. Wow. On the farm. Uh-huh. Wow. You can milk the cow tonight. Don't you think it's so crazy? You could milk the cow tonight. Shut up. Don't you think it's so crazy that she doesn't take her car to Adams? Noel. <laughs> he had to come pick up Aubrey. Yeah. Why didn't you just ask Chelsea to drive Aubrey to your house? Right. You let him pick you up willy nilly. You don't even you have had no way car. home. You have no way home. That is outlandishly. You're all in the front seat of a pickup truck like you're yep. all migrant workers. Yes. Mm hmm. You're all moving your friend's stuff. Yes. You're construction workers. I could not believe she didn't take her own car. That was. What is your plan? What? You know, she didn't care. No, she that's the thing. She doesn't care. Imagine she liking threw, someone that much. No. no, no. She threw caution to the wind. Imagine just liking someone that much where you don't think ahead. Like, how will I get home? You mm -hmm. just do it. And he lives far. Right. He lives on a farm. He lives on a farm. He was in town. That's why he's picking up Aubrey. He was in so town. So that shows you he's it's far. It's so far that he had to come and get her because he was the closest. Right. It's easier for his mom. <sighs> okay. So this is the second day of her leopard infinity scarf. Yes, it is. And he shows up and Aubrey is crying and he goes, what the hell did you do to her? Yeah. He's not very paternal. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. uh, so he wants her to come over and quote, catch up. Meaning, come over and I don't want to say it out loud. The cow. Right, come over and put. Let me put in your tailpipe, as Tracy would say. <laughs> he asks. Uh, she's like, "Do you are you seeing anyone else?" And he's like, "No, are you seeing anyone else?" And she's like, "Well, obviously, if he's asking me if I'm seeing anyone else, he's right. trying to get together with me." Right, we're back together. Right. So, um, they're all in the front seat of his truck. And then she asks, like, "Well, what do you want to be?" And, and he's like, he "Civil said, friends, civil friends." Civil friends. Yeah. He's like, mm -hmm. oh my God. I civil be friends civil with no way home. <laughs> I want to be civil friends stranded on a farm together. That is so crazy. Insane. Insane. That's the craziest thing she's ever done. 
Well, she said that it made her feel complete, she tells Mary. When she was sitting in the front seat of his truck with a very, very unsafe car seat with her <laughs> baby in it, that yeah. as her baby flew through the windshield of this pickup truck, she felt complete. She felt complete. Mary was probably like, oh, definitely. You know what, mm-hmm. Chelsea? You are complete with Adam. Yep, I yeah. know. So then the next day, Adam calls and asks if she wants to go out for a ride on his motorcycle. And Mary's like, Whoa! Sounds um, like you guys are married. Uh, 86 a helmet. Don't worry about a helmet. Tracy. She already, they Okay, well, in Adam's defense, he did look at her hair and thought she already had a helmet on. That's true. <laughs> he got confused. Oh, you and they even, they even got pulled over <laughs> by the cops. And Adam got a ticket for no helmet, but Chelsea oh, did not. Chelsea did it. That was very funny. You made uh-huh. me wheeze. They pulled him over and Adam was like, Chelsea, quick, throw your hair on my head. <laughs> I'm like, Tracy's going to watch this and say, don't they have a helmet? No, they had a helmet. None. None. She could have fallen off that motorcycle and been fine. I mean, I think so. She I would think have bounced right. right off. Yeah. I mean, I think- the asphalt. This is going to go bad. You know it's going to go bad. Mm-mm. No, I got to tell this you. this is the time? I don't remember what happens at the end. Me neither. Of Teen Mom in general. Me too. I don't know how this ends up, but I will tell you, I think that her and Adam stay together forever. Oh, you think they're together now? <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know if you knew that, but I Wait, think- oh my God. There's so much, like, left. Like, Adam gets another girl pregnant, remember? Like, Shh, there's a lot. No. Oh, sorry. I forgot that you forgot. Right. What am I, I talking remember. about? Okay. Let's move on. All right. Moving on. Leah filed for divorce and has had no contact with Corey for a week. And he read it in the paper. What was he reading? The blotter? So, okay. When my cousin, when his ex changed his kid's last name without mm-hmm. like his permission, he read it in the paper. What? Like he had a, the- I don't know. And I'm like, what were you it's reading like legal- exactly? Okay. So I have a story to tell. Tell me. I live in New York City. You live yes. in New York City. Yes. Big old New York City, right? Yes. I have a friend mm-hmm. whose mother-in-law was stealing from Kmart. Okay. And got arrested. And it was in the blotter. What the hell year was that? It wasn't as long ago as it should have been. It was old enough for Kmart? us to have a friend that was married. That's crazy. The only Kmart is like in the Hamptons. Well, this is this is when there was still a Kmart. Oh, um, there was also a Kmart in the city too, right? Yeah, but this was yeah. a Kmart. Oh, oh. Um, so the blotter is where, right? Is that what it's called? The blotter, right? I, th- I think so. Uh-huh. Uh, the blotter newspaper. Okay, so... Um, the police blotter. So here, it's a crime blotter. A police blotter may be characterized as a book or an index which contains a permanent chronological record of every official act that comes before the police officer in charge of the desk. So it's like the, the I don't know, it's just like the newspaper. It's like the classifieds, but it's like, you know, Noel got arrested oh. for, you know, stealing Tampax from the drugstore. Well, it makes sense. That's what he read about his kid's name getting changed in. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, It's a daily register of arrests and other events in a police station. Crazy, right? Yeah, that that is pretty crazy. I really love that. My hair smells like peaches. Ooh, how come? Did you put peaches in it? Function of beauty. Oh, okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right. So Leah filed for divorce. Uh, Corey reads about it in the blotter. So he calls Jeff. (laughs) And plotter is going to make me laugh. In the meantime... Mm-hmm. Corey goes down the mountain for right. a mani petty with Kayla <laughs> down the hill. Down the hill. Okay. Leah's like, listen, I don't mm-hmm. know what his problem is. I cheated on him before we got married. I thought we were past that. Right. So she thought saying I do would just negate everything. Yes. So her mother and Lee will loan her the money for the trailer because right. she had to spend her money on the lawyer. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Um, this is sad, though. Watching this is all very no, sad. No, super them. sad. Yeah. So she invites Kayla to stay there because Kayla's going to help her with the kids. So right. they keep saying lawyer. Mm-hmm. But it sounds like they're saying liar. Really? Yes. Their accents. It's like, um, we got the liar. And the liar said that we can't give him any access to the children. I went to the liar and he got a liar. And then I had to get a liar. 
That's funny. I didn't even notice. I, I thought that you were well versed in West Virginia. No, no, too. I am. I, I am. But they're saying that's how lawyer. you knew they were saying lawyer. <laughs> so her mother. Oh, man, this is like the timing on this. A box yes. comes and her mom's like, oh, these are your wedding pictures. Put your wedding band on. Mm hmm. OK. Um, start crying. Start crying. Mm -hmm. Start. Mm -hmm. It's like when I'm introducing a, a comic. Right. And uh -huh. like, guys, start clapping. The yeah. next comic comes. That's like, true. Start clapping. Her mom's like, start crying. Start crying. Start crying. These are your wedding pictures. This poor girl. But also she was not in love with Corey. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So she's crying with her wedding rings on. Right. So then uh, it's three thousand dollars for this trailer. Right. Which is. You know, that's very nice of them to buy that. For I want to see what it looks like. Like, I want to see really what it looks like. Not just not, like probably not great. Yeah. So they're going to meet Papa Jeff at the liar's office and right. drop them with Corey <laughs> the next day. And then they're going to move her stuff. Right. Oh, God, this would turn my stomach doing this. I, I felt this. the anxiety. Right. Well, yeah. It was not good. So Terrible. she's taking her rings off except for her wedding band because it's engraved with the kids names. Maybe we're okay, and his is also maybe we're on your other hand. Yeah, you don't have to wear it there. Just saying. Mm -hmm. So she's dropping the girls off. Leah looks unwell. This is where it starts. Yes. So she's like, okay, we have to split our stuff. The washer and dryer. She's like, which one do you want? <laughs> Just what do you think? She's no, like, I know. But also she takes every single thing in this house. She, this guy doesn't have a, a chair. But he shouldn't, though. She has the kid. Like, I don't know. She has the kids. Like, I don't know. I know, but you can leave him one chair to sit in. Like, there's nothing. Well, Lee helps her get her stuff, and her eyeliner is everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Yeah, it's her, bad. Uh, she looks like she already worked in the coal mines and met Jeremy. <laughs> she looks like what I expect baby Jessica to have looked like when she was pulled out of the well in the 1985. Well. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Baby wow. Jessica. She was baby Jessica. She was baby Jessica. She had Lita no shoes on. Jessica. She was just like Leah's scared and Jessica. frightened and covered in dirt. Leah's baby Jessica. Leah is baby Jessica. What a great, what a great, what is it, analogy? You. Yeah. You're very smart. Thank you so much. I am very great. smart. I, I'm going to be laying in bed two o'clock in the morning laughing about this. <laughs> Thinking about little Jessica. Of course I am. So, um, then there's she goes to his mom's to like get the girls. There's a giant dirty wolf. A wolf? The wolf. Did you Where see the was dog? this wolf? Where was this wolf? I feel like I did. On but the I left didn't side of the down. screen, there was like a giant wolf. I'm sure that I saw it because yeah. I remember. Oh, and also, wait, at the trailer, there was two dogs. Oh, there I was just a giant the wolf. wolf. And then there was something that was a very mangy mutt. And I'm like, who the hell's dog is this? Yeah. Like they were like dirt they like, biking. Yeah. They like <laughs> the dogs were. Yes. It's the like dogs the are dog... dirt biking without a helmet. It's like they lived on a, a like a car lot, like a yes. used car lot, like a junkyard. Yes. Well, they do live in a junkyard. This store my dad and I used to go to when I was little, you know, the store on Rockway Boulevard. Mm. The next door, there was a junkyard with the yeah. scariest dogs. I know. Ever. I know. Exa that's forget. exactly what I was thinking about when I How thought about it. How funny is that? Yeah. Yeah, you right, know. right in the pitkin in the yeah, it's the, there. Yeah, it's there. It's the scariest dogs I've ever seen yeah. in my life. I don't mm -hmm. know if they're there anymore, but yeah, yeah, I remember that yeah. very well. That uh -huh. was yes, that was a used car lot. Yeah, behind it, and they had God, the scary that was dog. So long ago. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I remember. Um, this is that was the end. So that was the end. It was a long episode. They were just kind of wrapping everything up. They were wrapping everything up. It was everyone getting upset. There are things happening. I hear Teen Mom Next Chapter just finished filming. I know. I saw that. They're so let's see what reunion. happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they don't uh, air that for a while because I want to get into. Me too. Like Teen I Mom need three. to get more into season three. Teen Mom 2 season three, not Teen Mom. Speaking of, I've never watched Teen Mom 3. <laughs> We're going to do it, guys. We're I gonna know. Do it all. We're going to when we get there. One day we'll get there. When I'm 80 years old, we're going to still be doing this. There's like a fruit fly in here. Sorry. Oh, my God. Don't, yeah. don't talk about him like that. Um. <laughs> patreon.com slash trash talk podcast that's where you're going to find everything uh all of our bonus content make sure you follow the podcast at 
Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok, Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com. Everything podcast related. All of my stand-up comedy tour dates. I am coming to Montreal June 9th and 10th of this year. This is 2023. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be again at the Palladium in New York City, which is the old Best Buy Theater, the old Nokia Theater, April 27th, uh, opening for Hannah Burner. So go check that out if you're in New York City. Um, and I just have like a whole bunch of tour dates coming up. Oh, my God. That's soon. I didn't realize how soon that was. It's so soon. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Goodbye forever. Bye.